What's going on, people? It is your boy, Sophis. Man, how y'all doing? Uh, so one thing, bro, I, I guess before I start this video, let me say, bro, I can't even go on Twitter or Discord or anything because apparently these traps just dropped early and y'all don't know how to shut the hell up. So I've been trying to avoid getting spoiled from when I get home and do my reactions for them. But, <laughs> so yeah, I just know that's just what I've been dealing with the last like day and a half. But uh, anyway, yeah, I, I, there was just something I kind of had a, uh, a thought pop in my head. And I touched on this topic before. Not very frequently, but I have. But King of Lightning, he recently did a video. And towards the back end of this video, he, he brought up this topic of conversation I wanted to kind of elaborate or jump off of because it was very, very interesting. And um, I just wanted to get my two cents on it. Uh, he did a video about uh, Sanji's and his ranking among young commanders and whatnot. But it was more so about the point he was addressing with Yonko Commanders. Like, uh, as if you take the white beard part, first off, okay, sorry about that. First off, um, I take titles, as titles. Yes, titles can be a representation of strength, but not necessarily always, just like bounties aren't always a representation of strength. There, there are times you could take it as that, but there's other times where clearly there's more to more than the meets the eye. So, if you take, say, the white beard pirates i don't believe ace is as strong as marco or josu and i don't believe he's as strong as vista i don't i haven't seen anything to make me think that i've seen you know what i mean I, even to the point where somebody like mihawk acknowledges vista's power and, and, and then it's, it's it's also the thing with age really that's that's my main contributing factor to there because uh there's the experience there's so many things come with age if you look at luffy and you look at doflamingo Luffy being 19, Doflamingo being 41. There's a huge difference in their abilities. Yes, Luffy's strong. He hits hard, but Doflamingo's a better fighter. Knows more about Devil Fruits. Knows more about hockey. Because that's that's the age. And you, if you've been a, if you can do something, like I said, uh, like I say, Luffy's not special. If he could do something, there's other people that can do it too. You know, if he can hit hard, other people. All you have to do is train, right? So there's no reason for these young these young dudes maybe. They may be able to hit hard, they may be able to move fast, like Zoro, Sanji, etc. But there's no way they should be able to outclass older fighters off sheer experience alone. With that being said, if you look at like Ace and Vista, well, we know the second con con division commander position of the White Pirates was vacant for some time. So it's not a position that needs to be filled. We see this with the Big Mom Pirates, how she had four commanders, now she has three. And she doesn't have a third one. Snack didn't get weaker, he just no longer has the title of commander probably because he lost the fight and Big Mom removed it from him and was like, okay, well, you lost your chance of being one of my commanders. And I'm pretty sure that's how a lot of these guys operate in this own, in this world. Uh, so if you take, I don't think she's going to take it with Katakuri's title of commander, but let's say if you take Katakuri, Cracker, Snack, and Smoothie, just because they're the sweet commanders, to my, my assessment, does not mean they're the strongest fighters in the Big Mom Pirates. I have no reason to believe that Snack, Smoothie, or Cracker, from what I've seen from Paris Peril, Oven, and Daifuku, I don't think they're stronger than those guys. And then we gotta keep in mind, Oven and Daifuku and Katakuri are triplets. Twins, I mean triplets is the correct term, not twins. They're all triplets, they're all the same age. Paris Peril is a little bit older than all of them. Uh, those guys are beasts. For, for all we know, at some point, Paris Peril, Oven, Daifuku, Katakuri, they could have all been the original or whatever sweet commanders when big mom's was filling the filling up her crew with her with her children they could have been all sweet commanders at some point and maybe paris Perot and oven and daifuku decided to just retire and stay in dotland or whatever and then kind of curry was like nah i want to keep doing this so he just stayed a sweet commander he stayed going out in the front lines or whatever he kept the you know what i mean maybe he just he just felt like doing it is my assumption i have just that's head cannon i have no way to to prove that and then down the line, because Big Mom has a, her, her, her pirate crew is her family, her kids. And later down the line, Big Mom's like, oh, I need some new commanders. So I'm going to promote you, 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 and you, blah, blah, blah. And, that's, and eventually, that's how we got Cracker, Smoothie, and Snack, who are all way younger than Katakur, way younger, by at least 10, 15 years or something like that. They were younger than Oven, Daifuku, Paris Peril. And my other point to bring along with this, if we've seen Paris Peril operate, Oven, how Oven operated, these dudes were on top of stuff. Not on top of dealing out massive attacks. They were doing very, they were, they, they were on top of their jobs. They were coordinating everything. 
almost like they've done it before. You know, they've been in that leadership role before. And they, you know, they're just at home rescuing. Um, rescuing, not so much for Daifuku. He was kind of being made a fool of by Carrot, but Carrot wasn't about to beat Daifuku in the fight anytime soon. She was no match for Daifuku's raw power. You saw what he was doing to those ships. Uh, that was just a that was just a speed thing right there. So yeah, these guys could have had these leadership roles at some point and just denied them or didn't want to do them anymore. And Big Mom put up new people. And and like I said, Snack no longer being a commander is my biggest evidence towards that. The fact that that title doesn't necessarily mean power. It's a title. It's the same sense of how Garp is a vice admiral. But there's not a fucking vice admiral on this planet that can match up to Garp. And I don't even, none of the admirals can fucking fight Garp. You know what I mean? Garp is ridiculously powerful. He, yeah, yeah, him and Sagoku took down Roger. Of course, you know, Roger let him kind of in a sense. But, you know, whatever. Like, Garp is incredibly, incredibly powerful. But he's only a vice admiral. So titles don't always correlate to strength. You see, Usopp was referred to as God Usopp. I know it's not necessarily the title. It's an epithet. It's not like a, a rank he was given in any type of organization. But you see what I'm saying? It doesn't, like, just like with Bonnie's, it doesn't always correlate to raw strength. So you look at Ace and Vista and Marco and Jozu. All those other guys, Marco, Vista, Jozu, they have high key. They can fight Admirals and Mihawk and shit. Uh, not that Ace could hang in there with the best of them but ace could have just got that title because well it's just like sengoku said right ace did as good as he did in the new world because he was in first of he was stronger and faster than pre times so he was incredibly powerful physically and he had a logio fruit that right there is enough you know that's a, you, you beat a lot of people that way because <laughs> ace wasn't weak without his logio fruit he was he was incredibly fast and incredibly strong uh, and strong enough, Ace is definitely strong enough to at least stall an Admiral. Most certainly. Strong enough to be a command. I would say Ace is kind of like how Lu in the shoes Luffy is. He's strong enough to be a commander. Strong enough to fight a commander. Strong enough to fight somebody like Jinbei. He's strong enough to do it. But does that mean he's exactly as powerful as those people? Absolutely not. Uh, Ace being the second commander does not make him stronger than Jozu, the third commander. You know what I mean? Like, what? That doesn't make a, a lick of sense. Jozu's way more experienced, way older than Ace. What? Has hockey. <laughs> oh, but an ace novel, huh? Listen, unlocking something like Ace had his, his a good chunk of his life has unlocked Conqueror's hockey. Unlocking something and being able to consciously use it is two entirely different things. If you unlock something but can't use it at will, you basically don't fucking have it. And that's just I'll just leave that at that with this whole Ace retcon of him having uh, him unlocking arm and hockey but they're literally never using it ever again um uh, <laughs> where about going with this I, i'm really i'm just really i'm just throwing stuff out there so yeah these these are just titles i don't think we're looking too much into these sweet commanders or not just these young co commanders in general if somebody has that title we assume well these have to be the strongest fighters in this crew and for the most case they might be right like with, with, with the beast pirates with shanks's crew right they might be but blackbeard's commanders might be like Lafitte and Burgess and stuff. And do you think they're as strong as those guys he picked up on level six? They could be. Let me not say they're not. They very well could be, but who's to say that they are? You know what I mean? A title was simply a title. Um, Luffy's commanders would eventually be his commander. I guess whatever the hell he'll refer to him as. He'll be with Zoro, Sanji, and Jimby. Of course. And those guys will be that strong. That's, that's they, they occupy the role of the main fighters uh, of the Straw Hats crew. But I don't know. Uh, see, I'm just throwing ideas out. I don't I don't have like a solid, concise point. At least if I, if you felt I made one, then awesome. It wasn't my attention. <laughs> I'm just been throwing words at the out. But uh Yeah, I, I'm gonna end this video right here. I'm about to start crossing this highway and stuff and then you guys won't be able to hear shit I'm saying and it'll just be a, a very noisy messy video so with that being said it is your boy Soul Fizz. um a title doesn't necessarily dictate strength in my humble opinion uh Ace being the commander doesn't mean he was the second the, the third strongest because Whitebeard be the strongest Mark will be the second strongest Ace being the second commander doesn't mean he's the third strongest in the Whitebeard Pirates and I'm pretty sure Paris Peril Oven and Daifuku with the exception of Katakuri is stronger than all of Big Mom's current sweet commanders. Way stronger. Dramatically. They're, they're a lot older. 
They've been doing this shit a lot longer. There's no reason for them to be weaker than Smoothie, or Snack, or Cracker. Not to say those guys are weak, but there's no reason for them to be weaker than them. It wouldn't make a lick of sense. So with that being said, I think people are, are um, doing a, a lot of this pairing, uh, these, this fight theory. I think a lot of people are doing it wrong because we're putting certain characters over other characters when they don't... I haven't seen any feats that suggest that these characters would be above these other characters. <laughs> I'm running across the highway. I haven't seen any feats that suggest these characters are above these other characters. But that seems to be the common exception and uh, common con consensus. And I'm just uh, throwing my, my hat into the ring with this discussion. See, I told you I was about to get loud. It's going to be this video. It's your boy, Phil Patel Hydro.